<laughs> yeah, I haven't been to, I haven't been to a stand up show since then. I'm not sure who I'd even want to go. I'd get one person that like if I saw they were coming to St. Louis that I wait, would wait, go let see. Let me guess. Let me guess. Uh, Brendan Schwab. Brendan Schwab. Don't know who that is, but oh. I would get. Uh, <laughs> or no, no, he's the the professional fighter. Yeah, he was. Yes, now he's a I professional would not comedian. Doubt it. Uh, I would not <laughs> watch that. Uh, I would. I would go see Louis. If Louis came to town, I would be super interested yeah. to see what his new material. He's gone. I wonder how that. he handles it. His, he always was shamelessly self-deprecating. I almost said mm-hmm. defecating. I couldn't get off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but shamelessly yeah. self-deprecating. So you'd think he would lean into it just like he always has. He, he was. Mm-hmm. He that, never. He, his comedy was never about going up there and trying to look handsome or cool or enviable. Yeah, he, he, it's it's he hard to like, be funny uh, if that's your goal. Hey, they cancel is he got canceled or whatever for like beating off in front of people was that his thing is that Louis? yes yeah yeah, yeah. Hey, I, I total love bullshit that. i love that how they the like uh sarah silverman was like yeah he asked me if he could beat off and i was like yeah why not and then he just like started beating off because she didn't think he'd actually do it we are peers we're equal so oh you know when i was you know when we were kids and he asked if he could masturbate in front of me sometimes i'd go uh fuck yeah i want to see that Really? Yeah, it was like oh, so science. He, oh, so he did masturbate in front well, of. Well, I mean, now I feel, but I, I feel like, and I'm like, I, yeah, I like that. I think that's pretty funny. Yeah, yeah. If there were a chick that, like, I would imagine would like laugh that off, it would be Sarah Silverman or someone like yeah. that. But yeah, the whole story, like, they conflated it so ridiculously. They're like Harvey Weinstein. For 30 years is sleeping with every major actress to get her a job. And in a similar effect, Louis C.K. explicitly asks women if he can do something. And upon a, like an approving response, yeah. he does it. It's like, yeah, that's not the same at all. You, you like them even, they put fucking him and Harvey Weinstein in like the same fucking sentence in the same article titles. It was horseshit. Yeah. Bullshit. The railroading they did to Louis uh, yeah. over nonsense. Oh, can I jack off in front of you? Yes. Jack off in front. What what's the fucking issue here? He's a he's a goofball. He's a weirdo. Did you not know? But that's like, like there's there's way weirder people in the world. Yeah, like, and then like who cares if he wants if he's torn. asking permission to jack off in front of people? I've taken the other side of this issue before. I'm not sure if that's where I still stand today. Because like on on one hand, I kind of sort of see how when a guy is a important person in the industry that you know, him asking for consent. Might like maybe Harvey Weinstein asked for consent. Said, "Hey, you fuck me, you get this role in the Hunger Games, sweetie." No, that was and, quid pro quo. Like that, that's not consent. That's I well, but you can see the parallel. Maybe like like you know that then when the power dynamic of uh, right the power dynamic. Yeah. So when Louis C.K. says, "Hey, I like jacking off in front of girls," what do you think? You know, they might be like, <laughs> you know, I can't say no. This guy. I mean, important wait, what do you draw the line? So on he that just though? he because just it's can't. like. But like then, he, yeah, to where you're saying, Taylor, because like then now you're saying like there's like there's probably like millions of women that have slept with people like like that comes from Motley Crue where they're just sure. like, yeah, come on the bus and suck me off. And they're like, yes. And then they immediately do it. It's like, is it impossible to like gain consent now because they're famous? Like exactly so right. To argue with myself. How does like, somebody get consent then? He got consent. Yeah, you just he did it. <laughs> and, and, yeah. You just talk to like, and the thing, like, maybe I'm misremembering, but I do recall a couple of the in, like instances that were brought up for Louis were like 2002, 2003 instances, like around then. And w- he was not a powerhouse in comedy uh, at all in the early mid 2000s. And so yeah. it, even if that was the argument, I don't buy it. And also it's like, OK, so he's a famous guy who's a very funny guy and has influence in the industry. So he could, he just can't try and hook up like because you could do that to anything. Any any man who has money, you could say this to you could go Jeff Bezos. Yeah. My God, you know, when he asks a woman to, to do something sexual, she knows like that he's the most powerful man. He has private military contractor. He's oh, my goodness. Yeah. What are you going to like? But that's absurd. Of course, it's absurd. Like, you, yeah, you, yeah, it's tricky. Because, but Jeff Bezos isn't really a gatekeeper to an industry in the same way. And, and I know I've heard you say before that Louis C.K. wasn't an important person when he did this. But I looked, and he had had like 
specials and he had produced so many th- like 20s of things mostly self-produced so, like he he mostly makes his own stuff or he maybe. did i don't yeah. know i just went to imdb and i was like shit no he was deep into his career at the point that these things happen but i didn't maybe i didn't remember it right maybe they were self-produced but in any case he wasn't a nobody i bet he could get you on some comedy stage you know be yeah. a gatekeeper for that sure i, I guess i just don't <laughs> find that compelling that he through some like ethereal power was bullying or pressuring. Like what it seemed to be was he was like, this is what I'm into. Do you want to do this? And they were like, really? Yeah, I guess. Or, and a couple of women, he said, said, no, like, no, I'm not comfortable with this. And so, he yeah, didn't. I'll agree. It's not very compelling. Like, like yeah. how, how does a guy get consent when he's rich and famous and powerful? Like you're just going to turn every consent into some sort of nah, I think you're ugly, so therefore it was probably a manipulated consent that she felt obligated yeah. to do because yeah, I need you to pull out ugly. your bank account so sure. that we can have like a we have to have exactly the same amount of money in the <laughs> right. bank account so that we can on know. a similar thing. I've I've often struggled with the like too drunk people consent issue. Like, mm-hmm. like yeah. I don't I honestly don't know right from wrong on this scenario. If if he's had six drinks and she's had four drinks and that's somehow about parallel, uh, is he at fault for the sex that happens more than she is? It, why? No, I mean, un- unless you have the point of view that men are inherently have more agency than women, which is like, <laughs> like uh, that's literally the perspective you have to have in order for that to be compelling to you for two people to drink. And that one inherently bears more responsibility, you know? Yeah. I mean, like, if, I think the limit would be like, if everyone knows the limit though, when someone is like, like well, everyone, yeah, reasonable, yeah, of course. everyone reasonably knows the limit. Like, every, everyone reasonable knows, knows the limit. Like, if a girl's yeah. like fucking rolling around wasted, you don't just be like, sweet, time to get my end away. Like, you're, yeah. Like, you if know. some dude is like a little tipsy and he's trying to fuck a girl who's like falling down, it's like, yeah, 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 yeah obviously. Asleep. Yeah, asleep, yeah. asleep's pretty yeah. fucking cut and dry. Like, yeah, like that's yeah. obvious. But yeah, yeah. two people drinking, getting drunk, and then hooking up, having a good time, and then the next morning being like, "Ugh, you're not as hot as I thought you were," and like, oh, <laughs> "You're you're fatter than I thought you were, champ." Like, <laughs> like that, yeah. that's just two people being like, "Hey, uh, how about we don't post yeah. this online and we never mention it?" Sounds good. <laughs> like, <laughs> the, yeah. yeah. I, I don't remember ever having like a one night stand where it was like where, where we weren't wasted, you know. I, I was gonna to. say that I, I like so this isn't my life, but uh, I think it was it was you know what it is. It's Nikki Glazier. I heard a comedian talking about this, and Nikki used to drink all the time, and now she's sober. Uh, she decided it was causing problems for her, and she's like, "Sex is like a whole new thing." She's like, "I never had sex completely sober." She's like, "How awkward, weird." Like you, you know, did, you're just gonna take a guy home and fuck him with no drinks in you at all? People do that, and it's it was eye opening for me because I was like, oh, that's the only way I've ever done it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, anyway, yeah. So there are people where that's just the normal way that you go. That's uh, like the pregame, sober sex. Uh, Interesting. I was just under the impression <laughs> of uh, I'm I'm just too ugly. It's a weird but anyone kinky. Want to fuck while they're sober, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. dude. Sometimes when I'm feeling kinky as hell, I, I just have sober <clears throat> snacks. <laughs> I, just, yeah. I don't I don't get high. I'm just sober as that's a bird. The I wear raw dog. <laughs> that's the yeah. true raw dog, dude. Right after church, just fucking. You know, at this point, time. you know what I don't do? Sober sleep. Like I like. <laughs> You guys just lay in bed with no edibles in you at all and just raw dog <laughs> nighttime? Oh, the regular? Yeah. This is your strategy? I've been yeah. eating those. I like getting I in, hot, in bed high as shit and just being like, you know, when you get in bed and you're so high, you're like, oh, the covers. Yeah. Like, oh, they're just like, feel so nice on I'm you. High as fuck. Like, it's time <laughs> to sleep. And it, like, if I'm not, I'm like, this is insta boring i don't know how to exist without stimulation until the sleepy time but if i'm high i'm like this is fine i'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm not bored i'm just enjoying I, my best is when you're like uh when you're just like in a real real like munchy mood and you're like yeah i've got like a plate of reheated pizza i'm like i am now i'm going into bed and my wife's like you can't eat in bed and i'm like fuck you it's my bed i'll do whatever i want 
and then mm-hmm. you're sitting there eating. And then you're like, <laughs> then you're just like, then you're really full, and you're just like, ah, uh, <laughs> just like, fuck us. Tomato yeah. sauce in your beard, yeah. <laughs> you don't care. You don't care because you're so high. Like that's the best. Uh, in my opinion, it does feel good. A nice yeah. munch session when you're high is just the best. Yeah.